So you want to hike Half Dome? Well, I'm here to tell you all the things I wish I knew before I attempted my hike. The first thing that I wish I knew was the hike to Half Dome is hard. No, it's really hard. Last but not least, let me emphasize, it's hard. The Mist Trail, which is what I took, is the shortest route to the summit of Half Dome. The trail is approximately 14.2 miles long and has a total elevation gain of about 4,800 feet. And that is starting at approximately 4,000 feet. So if you're someone like me that lives near sea level, you're already at a disadvantage. Also note that the 14.2 miles is round trip. So you are climbing that 4,800 feet in about seven miles. The next thing I wish I knew is that you need energy to burn. In hindsight, it's logical, but during the hike, I burned over 3,000 active calories. That's in addition to the 2,000 calories I burn naturally every day. So preparing your body with energy is essential. I recommend a good dinner the night before, a hearty breakfast, and plenty of high energy snacks and lunch on the way up the trail. And don't forget your water. It's recommended that you bring at least four liters of water on your way up. This is a minimum. It's also handy to have some sort of water filter with you so that you can refill your water bottles. Another thing I wish I knew is it's way hotter than you think. The backside of the dome is completely exposed with very little shade to get out of the heat of the sun. So sunscreen, hats, and hydration are your new best friends. The next thing I wish I knew is to start earlier so that you can beat the heat on your ascension. You'll need all the daylight you can get because this hike will take you longer than you think, especially if you need to take a lot of breaks like I did. We got on the trail about 4.45 a.m and made it to the top of Nevada Falls about 10 a.m. And that's only the first two and a half miles of the trail. The next thing I wish I knew about was the mosquitoes. I passed someone as they were descending the mist trail and they were wearing a full mosquito net around their face, long sleeves and pants, and gloves on their hands. I thought this was being superfluous, but I was wrong. They were prepared. And once these mosquitoes find you, they will be your travel buddy for the rest of the day. This is one my whole family wish we knew, is that subdome is scary. The subdome is switchbacks cut out of the side of a granite mountain, and it's steep. If you have any issues with heights, this will trigger them, no joke. The cables are steep, but at least there, there's something to hold on to. This is more of a tip than something I wish I knew. Stay somewhere air conditioned the night after. Maybe I'm a little bit wimpy, but there is nothing like cooling down in the AC after the hike. Treat yourself to somewhere air conditioned and comfortable. Trust me, you will have earned it and will be super grateful for it. So here's something I didn't think about. What goes up must come down. Once you climb that 4,800 feet in seven miles, you have to descend to that 4,800 feet in seven miles. Sure, it works different muscles, but my calves were sore and wobbly at the end of that hike. If you don't like hiking soggy, I definitely recommend a waterproof layer. This includes waterproof hiking shoes. Hiking through the mist, you will get soaked. My wife spoke of the waterfall's mist as taking her breath away. While I did not experience this, it's something to consider for others. The last thing I'd like to talk about is the camaraderie among hikers. Most people are not out on the trail. Those out on the trail are like an exclusive club. Every one of them is cheering you on. As I descended the trail, I had several conversations with other hikers who were very encouraging about my failure. With hearty pats on the back saying, you'll get it next time, it was a great and welcome lift to my spirits. Thanks for watching today. I hope I gave you some things to think about as you plan your hike up Half Dome. Good luck, and maybe I'll see you up there. Please like and subscribe, and tell me about your experiences hiking Half Dome down in the comments.